Um, but I'm not sure if he has, has like played with them, if that makes sense. Yeah. So either or, uh, there there is like about you know a little a couple of DDDs in Minnesota, but we'll see if Ehis, uh, you know, knows the matchup. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like DDD is one of like the best matchup check characters in the game. Where if you don't know how to fight DDD, DDD is going to run you over. Yeah, I mean I could imagine. I mean there's there, there's not really that many like top players that play DDD, if that makes sense. And that's gonna be something I'm looking out for in this matchup is. The interaction between Egg and Gordo. Gordo, if you don't know, you need 4% to break Gordo. And Egg apparently does more than 4% because we just saw Egg was able to reflect that Gordo. Wow, that's, well, <laughs> we're, we're in for a set then. <laughs> oh, uh, we just saw it as well. Wow, that's kind of crazy. I didn't even know y y uh, Egg could like reflect Gordo there. Yeah, I feel like a lot of Yoshi's moves are going to be reflecting Gordo, but right now it doesn't really matter if uh, Ease is going to be at 83% already right now. Yeah, looking a little bit scary for Enos here, playing on this ledge. It's a bit scary right now. Kilogram having excellent pressure right now for the start of our game here. Yeah, and this is a, a facet of Kilogram that Kilogram's gameplay that he excels at his ledge trapping. Enos able to get around it that time, but it's going to be a, a struggle to get around it uh, as many times as Kilogram's going to force you onto the ledge. Yeah, a bit of a, a bit of a footsies moment here. Enos is trying to find a way in. But it, it, I mean, it's scary. I mean, you're playing against DDD. Like, it's a pretty hefty character. You got that Gordo you got to watch out for that has so much, like, active frames, basically. Yeah. It's just a hitbox that he gets to put out and just kind of sit behind. And yeah. Just wait for you to try and deal with it. Mm. Right, this is what I'm expecting Ooh. from Ehis right now. These Yoshi combos are going to be working out really well against a character as that falls as fast and is as heavy and as big as King DDD. Yeah, Ehis is playing. Ease is playing, you know, comfortably, but you know, you can't sit too comfortable there because the kilogram will catch you slipping there for the first stock, catching that Gordo. Not gonna do anything just yet, and he has needed finding a way in, in this stock. Yeah. Kilogram, like he is doing a really good job of reflecting the Gordos and mm. using them to his advantage. However, Kilogram is you know, he's a, a player that is experienced against that. Yeah. And he's showing his own counterplay to the counterplay so far. Yeah, I feel like as well, if you play DDD, you have to, in a sense, get used to people reflecting your Gordo or somehow working around it. So although the Gordo, you know, is is being dealt with, Kilogram is still is still doing that pressure and still putting in the work that he needs to. And E is, again, trying to find this stock situation. And I th don't even know if that was... <laughs> First hit back here and up smash gonna be finding oh, that stock. What a weird confirm. Never seen that one before. Yeah, that was a little odd, but a nice stock lead. Or not, not stock lead, but like nice take, nice stock take from Ehis here. <laughs> yeah, good way to even up the score right now. And uh, it, we're playing a very slow match right now. They are just playing incredibly safe. I love the up throw to get Yoshi in the air. Right yeah, there. Ehis is definitely gonna try to create that space, try to make sure that he has the comfortability to apply this pressure from a distance, but Kilogram seems like he wants to get in Ehis' space. Yeah, and we just saw the uh, the jet hammer come out from Kilogram. That is something we're going to be accustomed to seeing by the end of the set. Kilogram is a big lover of jet hammer. <laughs> is that his, like, That's his signature, his signature move? <laughs> like, the, like how John Cena has the attitude adjustment, oh Kilogram Hours has the jet hammer. <laughs> There, kilogram hours catching he has jumping right there kind of unsafely and now yeah you don't ever want to land on top of DDD because he will catch you and it might take your stock as well but uh, he is here not doing too bad wow, uh, Danner off the here. side almost but yeah that almost took uh, kilogram stock here not gonna do it just yet though it's slowly building up this percentage though on Ehis. he's got to find the stock sooner or later down to three minutes and yeah, not gonna take just yet yeah no nah. Nothing doing on the Yoshi Bomb right there, and now 60% on Ehis. He's got to be really careful. Mm. Back air is going to be uh, what I'm expecting to come out there. Yeah, I, I honestly, with the wooden hammer that Kilogram has, I believe, you know, DDD is at a higher advantage considering that, you know, Yoshi can't really extend that much. And even finding that upper, not going to take it just yet, though, despite the kill screen. Yeah, great DI there from Ehis. However, in an unfavorable position, and Kilogram nope. are just going to edge guard you. He said... Get out of here. <laughs> Such a meaty swing as well. All of King DDD's moves just hit so like It's just so mean. Like why yeah. do you have to why do you have to swing at me? 
definitely a bully character. Like, yeah, yeah. This is the character you pick when your friends <laughs> don't know how to play the game and you just want to bully them. <laughs> you just want to have complete stage control. You don't want anyone to recover. Yeah, not only from a character standpoint, but from like in the lore, I think King Dedede's a bully <laughs> character, so it fits. And I mean, you literally see like Dedede's entrance, like all those waddledies carrying him. Yeah. <laughs> and Kilogram Hour is like, Although he's a very nice person in real life, he's <laughs> definitely a bully in the Smash sense. Oh my and gosh! <laughs> showing it right now. So, sometimes you gotta play that. You gotta play that archetype, though. Sometimes you gotta you gotta do it that way mm. to get the job done and everything. Kilogram just had to do it to him. <laughs> right now, going into game number two, gonna be sticking with the same characters. I don't expect to switch for and for either for the rest yeah, of the Yeah, as far as I'm aware, I don't think Ehis has a secondary. I'm not sure if Kilogram does. Not to my knowledge. So I, I guess we're going to be sticking with their mains here, Yoshi and DDD once again. Three, two, one, go. Oh, what a giant <laughs> egg. <laughs> it looks like the end of Godzilla 98. <laughs> uh, right. Good start, though, for Ehis here. 70% looks like he's gotten a bit more of an understanding of the DDD. Maybe just needed the first game to feel things out right now. Uh, yeah. Already at 100 as well for Kilogram up here. This is what I expected when I saw like Yoshi versus King DDD is uh, Yoshi able to combo King DDD to insane percents. And it's, it's going to be up to King DDD on how he, or Kilogram ours rather, mm -hmm. on how he maneuvers around like all this pressure that he's, he has been putting out right now. Yeah. Strong start right now for Ehis, sitting comfortably with, with uh, all three stocks still at 75%. Don't want to get too comfortable though because Kilogram is on the ledge, so it might be a little bit scary right now. Yeah, and you can never be a really too comfortable against uh, King Dedede, and especially a, a King Dedede of Kilogram Hours' mm -hmm. caliber. You know that any any time that he, he's throwing out any move, it could spell your doom. <laughs> yeah. Ehis though, I mean, being able to find ways in and the percentages when needed, definitely doing the job here, but it's a bit scary when you're playing on ledge right now. Kilogram definitely gatekeeping the, the stage right now. He's like, this is the area you can't go. Here's, <laughs> I'm showing you where not to be. Go to the blast zone. <laughs> Ooh, I love the egg lay there. Ooh. I was hoping to see a spike or something from Ehis, but unfortunately just wanted to play it safe. I mean, never, nothing wrong with that. Uh, I'm having a, bit, a little bit of stage control, especially some rage building up here. The big egg as well. Looking like Billy Hatcher here with all these giant <laughs> eggs. Back air gonna be not sealing that stock out just yet, though. Ooh, yeah, Kilogram looking for the stock. Anything right oh, now. Oh, wow! But the down smash coming out from Ehis with a three stock still. 137. Kilogram is struggling to get this first stock off of Ehis. What is he going to do? Yeah, this is a complete reversal of the first game where we kind of saw Kilogram uh, dominating. First, yeah, get that first stock and then start to dominate. And in this one, it's Ehis who got the first stock. And Kilogram is struggling right now to find this kill. Yeah, I mean, Ehis is looking more up the ante right now. He, he seemed like he just needed that one game to get things out. Wow. And the up smash is going to confirm that game for him. Kilogram was like at 130 as well, so he was dead, dead. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Gone. See ya. <laughs> yeah, I mean, game two going to Ehis again. This is this is going to be a back and forth game, most likely. I mean, unless Kilogram can figure out what to do against this Yoshi, who knows? The thing is, like, I don't think Ehis played that differently in that game either. He just got the first stock, got momentum, and just rode it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sometimes that's what happens. Sometimes you get the first stock, and then you just literally run over your opponent. So that is what you need to get to get going, basically. Yeah. Alright, again, gonna be sticking with the Trident Cherry. King DD is gonna be coming out and Yoshi on his side. Not expecting any diff anything different for the rest of the set. And I believe Town and City is where we're gonna be headed right now. A much larger stage uh, with smaller side blast zones that may be helping uh, kill our hours here. Yeah, I mean, honestly, this could be scary for either or. I'm not too sure if Yoshi could kill off the sides, but I mean, either or, I know for DDD, it's, it's going to definitely help out a lot. <laughs> I feel like Yoshi would be more adept at killing off the top with maybe up air and up smash. Yeah, that's fair. Um, that same token, though, that, uh, that <laughs> yeah. up air from King DDD. He, he the, was uh, trying to get that stock already. <laughs> yeah. Oh, send him to the blast zone. Ehis 
Character making his way to the stage, though. Gordo coming out to play. Got to be careful with that. Something I'm, we're not seeing Kelligran hours really go for is a lot of these grab combos uh, that King Diddy is, like, not known for, but definitely has. It, it seems like... He is very comfortable staying in that shield right now, and I'm wondering if Kilogram has got to have an answer for that if they get the up smash right now. Yeah, unfortunately, he has caught the butt end of the wooden hammer there. And Kilogram with the lead here, not too, not too much of a big lead, and he is trying to build off of that. Yeah, definitely going to be finding it right there with the up smash. Kilogram trying to land on there with a the nair, not extremely safe, and... Uh, pays for it right there. Yeah. Seven percent is uh, the cost of your life. <laughs> Ooh, bit of a little jab lock situation there, but not too much percentage of what's dealt from Ehis. Got a little bit of base control going on here. Egg time. Oh. Yeah, I'm liking what I'm seeing from Ehis right now, but Kilogram is definitely not out of it just yet. He's got, you know, two old stocks to work with, and he's, he seems to have a bit of an understanding of what Ehis is going to want to go for right now. However, can he avoid these eggs that just keep... This egg lay is doing so much work for Ehis right now. Yeah, definitely. He's definitely been able to get those and the jab lock. Dang, that was not going to do it just yet. Yeah, and Kilogram with a great um, recovery there as well. Mm. King DDD, when you're sent to the side blast zone, is like more... At, at, He's more likely to get killed off the side blast zone because his jump infl inflates him. And so oh. he actually flies into the blast zone. Oh my god. But uh, Kilogram's showing great knowledge of that and less oh, air dodge. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that ledge trap situation from Kilogram was very nice. Uh, but couldn't get the stock off of Ehis yet just yet. He's also looking for the second stock off of Kilogram right now. They're both at really hefty percentages. Yeah, and Kilogram shows what he learned from the first stock. He's not landing on Ehis right now at high percent. Oh. Except for right there. <laughs> How Matita's curse. He's not going <laughs> to land on him. He's going to air dodge right into him. Oh. All right, there's the grab I'd like to see from Kilogram more. Oh, the Gordo just catches the toes of Yoshi. Yeah, just barely. Clean slate now. Looking a bit rough right now for Ehis. Trying to get some sense of control here, but Kilogram with these Gordos is so consistent. Yeah, now Kilogram is uh, willing to grab, and that's going to be... Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> He's actually challenged that. I got so scared. That would have been it. Kilogram showing he's willing to play this neutral and willing to play Yoshi's game of, if you're going to throw the egg back at me, I'm going to throw it right back in your face. Tennis match right there. Definitely. Ooh. Yeah, that air dodge was a little scary. A little bit of risky option oh, up there. It's not going to take it just yet. DI from Ehis. Bit of DI, bit of town and city. Maybe biting Kilogram in the butt right now. Can he find this kill before it gets too late? He will. Yeah. Yeah, that fair through the uh, platform there definitely helped out Kilogram, especially considering, again, once you said the side blast sounds taking that as well. So it's a bit unfortunate, but we're going to be going into game. Four. Game four right now. Kilogram a uh, set or a game away rather from uh, moving on into the winner set of top 64 here. Yeah. He is trying to put a stop to it though. Yeah, I, I mean, still uh, he has been able to still catch up with Kilogram hours, being able again to take take him at least to his last stock situation, uh, considerably on uh, a larger stage as well. Regardless of the side blast zones, it was scary that it was tedious to to try to avoid it. I mean, he has done an excellent job so far though. Uh, trying to find those closeouts and those confirms that he needs. Absolutely. Is he playing Zelda? No. Okay, I was about to say, I was like, wait a minute, I did not know if there was a Zelda. <laughs> I'm going to say, there's no way the Zelda comes out after. <laughs> there's no way. After that three stocking game, too. <laughs> right now. He's going to be catching King DP when he wants to land on him. Bit unsafely. And yeah, a little bit of chain there from Ehis. Not, not too much pressure, though. Not, I don't believe Kilogram's worried about it, though. It's funny that, like, oh, oh my goodness, oh. Jet Hammer coming out. This is... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The signature move, the attitude adjustment, but... <laughs> you literally held your voice back. You were like... The, the <laughs> I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for it, because... Yeah. 
I, I don't know oh. how, but Kilogram always seems to find that, but not quite so far in this set. Yeah, not just yet. Ehis is not giving him the time and space for that jet hammer. The Kilogram is still pr putting the pressure on regardless. Naren up air, gonna be not quite finding that kill. Great DI there coming out from Ehis. Yeah, honestly, that up air is doing God's work for kilogram hours. It's done so much percent, and it's even taken a couple of Ehis' socks as well. The thing about the up air is it catches the Yoshi trying to double jump away with the double jump armor, so it's such a great option for right. kilogram hours. Back air also, but not gonna be finding that kill. Ehis still has a stock lead here, so. Or not stock lead, a percent lead rather, is what I was trying to say, but. Not so much now, but again, this is still the first dog, so this could still go either way. Still scary though, because both these players want space, but both these players want to close out that first stock. <laughs> yeah, we've seen this first stock be so important in the momentum so far, this thing. And Kilogram going to be uh, grabbing the momentum right now, right out of ES's hands. And uh, yeah, how far can he take it right now? They're going to be stuffing out that Yoshi Bomb attempt too. Having a bit of the ante right now for Kilogram hours. Looking just to put more pressure on while he can with his 128% on the first stock still. And he is, again, trying to find his way in. But the way that DDD is, he's a hefty carrier. He's a big boy. And that Gordo play right now that Kilogram is doing, it's very excellent. I mean, although that he is, is canceling them out, it is still doing a lot of pressure. Yeah, and so far it's kind of been Kilogram just saying, I'll hold down to the left side of the stage. You can try and approach me. Mm. I'm going to put myself maybe in a little bit of disadvantage just sticking to one side of the stage, but can how can you approach me? How can you find the kill? It's up to you to do that. Oh, wow, yeah, very nice coming from Ehis. It was a little bit unexpected. It always seems like he's fishing for that as well, uh, but able to get that for the first stock. Uh, honestly, I mean, this lead uh, for Kilogram is looking pretty one-sided right now, and he is struggling to find his way back to stage safely. That does make it down. Well, down smash, not quite. Gordo going to be actually saving right there. Yeah, honestly, that was probably the better option that he has wanted to take, but unfortunately, Kilogram is still going to catch Ehis' landing. Yeah, now Kilogram one stock away from top 64 winner side, but he's, to do so, he's got to get through this Yoshi. He's got to get one more stock off of Ehis, and Ehis is definitely not wanting to venture into that death bracket of losers. Right, I mean, it's going to be a bloodbath. I don't think anyone wants to go through losers right now. He is trying to deal some percentage right now, trying to get something working right now, but Kilogram is applying the pressure so nicely right now and keeping the distance as well. Yeah, another grab here coming out from Kilogram. Here's the jet hammer. Okay, let's it rip, but not gonna <laughs> find it. Yeah, not just yet. I feel like Yoshi as a character is just really good at avoiding the jet hammer. And we've seen that so far with he, uh, with he has avoiding all of the attempts of jet hammer, but how many kill attempts can you avoid? Oh. Here's another one. Oh, not just yet. He is not going to let it happen. At least not anytime soon, but Kilogram still building up the one coming out. Trying to get this jet hammer, man. I mean, oh. Yeah, a little unfortunate for Ehis right there. He's trying to get that up smash. Yeah. Wow, just so much pressure going up from Kilogram, and Kilogram making yeah. his way into the top 64 on the winner's side. Great stuff to him. Yeah, he caught uh, his, his jump there trying to get out of shield, and unfortunately, uh, you know, that was it for game four, and uh, Kilogram will be moving on to uh, top 64, as you stated. So, I mean, good stuff to him. That, that was a nice showcase. Yeah, and although it is a although it is a death bracket in the loser side right now, mm. I think Ehis has an incredible opportunity to make it into top 64. He's got, like, we saw the Yoshi do so.